So, you're probably wondering how we got here. It all began on the night of Saturday, February 27th, 2021. This was probably one of the most energetic and impassioned streams on the channel to date. We began it by reviewing and demolishing Vosh's video slandering Jimmy Dore. Later in the night, I received a message in my Twitch whispers telling me a person named Sansal wanted to debate me. Sansal is a political Twitch streamer and calls himself a democratic socialist. He's associated with BreadTube and Twitch leftists more generally, and while being an insignificant and small streamer, he's friends with more prominent streamers on the political Twitch scene, like Dylan Burns TV and the Hippie Dippy podcast. Now I want to make a point of clarifying that in no way does Sansal present himself as someone who is right-wing adjacent publicly. He puts up the appearance of being an extremely woke and politically correct guy, these are the same hypersensitive, cancel culture baiting, virtue signaling leftists you see on a regular basis. Anyway, I dropped by on his small live stream and asked him what he wanted to talk about. Sansa was playing a video game, so I left, telling him to DM me in the future. As I was wrapping up the night's stream, I get a DM from this Sansa guy. He asked me if I wanted to talk. I made it clear that it's going to have to be quick because I was planning on ending the stream. He agreed to that. Initially, Sansal pretended like he was acting in good faith as just some curious guy uh, who wanted to know more about our views. Both our YouTube and Twitch channels have been growing at such an exponential rate that we've become the talk of the town among left-wing live streamers, having faced off against streamers like Xander Hall, Vosh, Destiny, and even lesser prominent ones like Socialism Done Left. He then proceeded to ambush me into having a debate with him about so-called Chinese imperialism. He brought up evidence he already prepared for about matters I didn't have time to investigate independently, like a Chinese company's dealings with the Sri Lankan government over a port. This was bizarre, but it became clear that Sansal, from the very beginning, had the intention of ambushing me and attempting to do what not even streamers like Voss or Destiny could which is proclaimed victory over the infrared show in a debate. I also want to make it a little bit more exclusive. So if you're going to hurt our movement, people like infrared, people like Peter Koff and people like Brianna Joy Gray, I want you fucking gone. And I want everyone to make fun of you relentlessly. Every time you tweet, I want you fucking relentlessly mocked for how fucking stupid your view of the world is. Like, that's, that's the kind of shit that I want to see, right? Um... Unfortunately for him, the debate didn't go in his favor. I managed to pretty easily corner him, and he found it necessary to bring in a larger streamer, Dylan Burns, to come to his aid. While Dylan Burns has a moderately large Twitch following, I personally didn't know who he was either. But pathetically, both Sansa and Dylan Burns alike were, on the basis of literally every single substantive point, and even minor point of contention raised between us, absolutely and unambiguously demolished. This was probably the easiest debate I've ever engaged in, in my entire time of streaming, it was such a joke. Because of how humiliating this was for both of them, they decided to derail the conversation in order to mock me and abuse me personally. Pathetically, even then I was able to hold ground. What followed was Sansal bringing in several other of his close associates into the call. So to recap, Sansal couldn't hold his own as a man and had to bring in Dylan Burns to back him up. These two failed to stand a chance against me, so now we find ourselves in a situation where it's 1v9. Now you probably think a sensible person would have just left, but I insisted on staying and beating them out. I wasn't going to allow them the satisfaction of being able to say Infrared ran away from a debate. Our platform is growing and we have the most empowered, active, and enthusiastic audience in all of political YouTube. I decided I was going to fight tooth and nail until I exacted the concession of all nine people in the call, 1v9. Infrared doesn't back out of confrontations, we end them. I was overwhelmed with an impassioned rage, because in my mind I wasn't just fighting for the Infrared Collective, but for our audience. These cowards contended themselves with abuse and slander against people like us for too long. I was going to give our guerrilla army nothing short of an unconditional and unquestionable victory. The type of people Sansal, a supposedly left-wing and woke streamer brought on, 
were almost all decidedly sociopathic and amoral personalities, and the way they conducted themselves in private radically contrasted with Sansa's own politically correct and left-wing public persona. One of these streamers, going by the name of Poggerboy24 on Discord, a close associate of Sansal's, decided that since his favorite streamer failed to defeat Infrared in the debate, that he was going to directly attempt to get our stream banned off of Twitch. Poggerboy24, with the consent of Sansal, started posting swastikas and pornography while the Discord was being captured live on stream. Sansal and Dylan Burns' community then organized an attempt to brigade our chat with pornographic content, hate symbols, and other violations of Twitch's terms of service, and then proceeded to report us on account of the aforementioned violations they themselves were responsible for. Meanwhile, I managed to smuggle in a few of Infrared's people into the call. A heated discussion was proceeding about China, and one of our members, being from China themselves, wanted to chime in. Watching the following clip, the way in which Sansal's friends decided to treat him behind closed doors. I would like to bring up the topic of like, you know, since we got China Boy here, okay? What do you think of like Daddy Daddy Jinping's fucking speech on poverty the other day and how fucking based it was considering the history of China and poverty? Do you think he looks like Winnie the Pooh? I, th I think it's pretty based. I think his speech is pretty based. I don't know. I didn't listen to the whole thing, but the general content is pretty okay, so, based. Okay, if you didn't listen to the whole thing, like, you don't get to fucking have an opinion. You don't get to oh, I, I think I get... Like, yeah, I do get to have happen. an opinion. I know uh, much more about bullshit. CCP than uh, you do. Bullshit. Look at how the fucking American wise. Chinese... I know about Xi Jinping way more than you fucking oh, ever do. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Shut the fuck up, you little cock, bitch! Don't fucking talk to him like that, you little fucking bitch! That's what are you gonna do? This abusive and chauvinistic treatment of a Chinese person, struggling to argue in a language they don't even speak natively, is a marked departure from the radical liberal and politically correct posturing of these same people publicly. Dylan Burns, Sansal, and Bones of Doom TV all present themselves as left-wing and progressive content creators. They're the first ones to jump on board with canceling people for the most minor of offenses. This is first-hand evidence of just how much all of this hypersensitive political correctness is just a cynical joke even to them. They don't actually care about so-called intersectional values. They pretend to because it's socially profitable to. All over our Twitter, these same people were cynically attempting to weaponize cancel culture that the thought that these type of people actually possess it ready at hand stored on their computers 
makes me sick to my stomach. But that's no matter. No matter how hard these people try, our channel is still growing, and infrared is still rising. They haven't even so much as put a dent in our rapid conquest of BreadTube and the left-wing media sphere, which is far from over. They can't stop us. No one can stop us. We aren't going anywhere, and what you've seen so far is only the beginning. Infrared simply cannot be stopped.